Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about a pen that I haven't actually used in a while, uh, but it's a pen that I used to give away a lot because it's a great starter pen and it only costs a few dollars, and that's the Wingsung 3008. So Wingsung has many different um, cheap pens on the market. Um, one, a very well-known one is the 3003, which is a Pilopera copy, um, which is all, a very nice. Um, um, it's a converter filler. This is a piston filler, and I think you can get them for like $3. They're very, very cheap. Um, these uh, Wingsung pens do not have the Pilot style nib that many of the Wingsung uh, pens have. This actually has like a Lamy style nib, um, which I will show you in a close-up view of this pen. I'm going to ink it on camera, um, and since I've never, I haven't used this in a long time, I wonder if it's still going to surprise me, because I remember loving this pen, um, or these models in general, um, and I hope it still will feel that way. So let's switch the shot and go for it. Okay, here we are with the Wingsung 3008. As you can see, this is a demonstrator pen. Um, cap is completely clear. Um, they have colored uh, metal sections near the piston ro uh, rod. Um, and there are different colors of this pen. Um, I've had a like champagne-y color. I've had a green, like a light blue. Um, I've been giving these away. Uh, not lately, but... Um, like in the past, I have given them away because they're a great pen to give away. They're only like three dollars. They're very cheap. And I must say, this is, is a piston filler, so um, I don't know if people would consider this a good first uh, pen, but it is very nice and it is a decent pen. And like you can help them um, fill it up or give them the pen filled, and then after the first fill, you can help them clean. Um, and it's a good way to help them get into the hobby, I feel. Um, this is somewhat reminiscent of a different pen, um, the Twizz V580, I would say, um, is very similar to this, or this is very similar to that. Um, not sure if they were completely mimicking that, but it definitely um, puts it in mind. Um, the price difference is great, though. <laughs> Screw cap. And then let's look at the nib, um, and this is a Lamy style nib. So most Wingsung pens actually have uh, a Pilot style nib. I've heard that they like bought up a Pilot factory um, in China somewhere, and they've been using the molds of those nibs. I'm not completely sure how true that is, um, but this nib is different. You can remove these and um, replace them with Lamy nibs. They don't fit perfectly, like they're either a little wobbly or a little too tight. You can force it on, um, but I, I've never felt the need to do it because the nibs I've gotten on these pens have been great. Um, very wet and very smooth. What I like about this is um, the clear feed. You don't see that on Toys V's, so it's a nice touch. You can see the ink in the section very well because there's not a black feed. Um, yeah, and the back is also clear. Um, cheaper pens by Wingsung definitely tend to do have that. Tend to do have that. That is a sentence, um, but not a very good one. Um, this pen um, came out without a locking mechanism at first. What I mean by that is that some of these pens have a locking mechanism. Um, that means that you lock the piston. Um, and this one does not have that, apparently. Oh, it does. I just hadn't engaged it properly. So that means that you can't just accidentally um, unscrew the piston um, when it's in your pocket or in your bag. So there is like a fail safe there, like, which is very nice. It's very useful, especially if you're a new, like a new fountain pen beginner, you don't want to, you don't want to leak on you. Um, yeah. Uh, problems that people have come across, um, there's a, a screw in the cap that rusts for some people. Um, I don't think I've had it inked long enough or often enough to experience this, but I do understand that that happens. Um, 
And um, I think there is a, uh, there's a YouTuber who has a solution for that. I think his, his name is JPL something. Don't exactly know. Um, but if you experience this problem with this pen, look it up. You can definitely find a solution. I think it is time to ink it up and do a writing sample. Um, let's put the piston up. And I grabbed an ink that's already on my finger. <laughs> And that is Hiroshizuku Tsutsuji. I love this ink. It's pink and it sheen's like golden. And it's great. Used. Wow. There's a lot not in this bottle anymore. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised by that. But it's great. I probably have handed out samples of this. Oh, I have a, such issues with Hiroshizuku bottles. I'm going to do something and I don't want to um, I recommend this, but it's what I do when I can't get a Hiroshizuku bottle open, and that is tap the cap on something. And I, I think, oh, I'm still can't, oh, I can't get it open. I think what happens is like the ink on the rim gets like stuck or dried up. And I think you can see sheen on the edge of this bottle. That's amazing. Also in the cap right there, that goldy green sheen. So it gets stuck and then when you tap it, it gets unstuck. Um, I don't think it's the safest way to do this because I think these caps can break. Um, but I'm not one for um, gentle solutions, apparently. Dip, nib, and in ink. Right, I'm gonna do this because I didn't clean it. I think this is a new one that I haven't used before. I've given all the other ones away, so I didn't clean it, and there could be like machining gunk in there. And I'm awful because I use the ink to clean. Okay. That is some nice pink ink. Look at that feed. See, what's not to love about it? Did I lock it? I did. Okay. Bye bye bottle. Sorry for treating you badly. Okay, so normally I use my Rhodia pad um, for the writing sample. However, uh, I finished the Rhodia pad. Um, I had um, oral exams with one of my uh, grades um, and I used that to make notes. So um, yeah, it's all gone. So I'm using my journal like in the back where I generally ink test. So, all right, let's zoom in a little bit. Look at that cute, cute purple. Oh, you're gonna tell me it's not gonna write. How rude is that? Did I wipe it too well? Did the ink dry up? This is, this is great. So I've never had one of these that didn't write. And of course, as soon as I, um, get on a, a video, I get one that doesn't write. I would consider this cheating a little bit, but I guess the feed wasn't properly saturated or wiped off too much. So this is a fine nib, according to Wing Sung. Let's wipe this off a little bit. Um, I would not say this is a fine nib. I would say this is a medium. Just needed something to get started, apparently. It's very smooth. Um, actually, it does not have any feedback. Like, there's just pure smoothness. Um, I do have to say that this nib is made of a very thin material, so I wouldn't actually flex it too much. So that's what one of the things you can see, it's a cheap pen, because the material we use is not very Thick or thin. Uh, thick. It is very thin. Um, it's about three dollars. It's a great starter pen. And it's a cheap piston filler. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, it was a little, uh, faily, this video. 
<laughs> it wasn't perfect, but that's how it goes. Like sometimes you have a pen and you need something to get it started and apparently pushing out some of the ink uh, through the feed and onto the nib was what this pen needed. I hope you enjoyed um, and I hope to see you soon. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Thank you guys for watching and bye bye.